how can you change a group's decision making? Hint, it is possible. It can be extremely frustrating to present facts to someone and have them completely disregard them in favour of pre-held beliefs. How do some people change their opinions? And can your own opinion be influenced by others? We start with exploring how you make decisions before examining the influence groups have on decision making. The contagious nature of behaviours when others identify as belonging to the same group as you before lastly considering some specific factors affecting group decision making. Firstly, positive emotions and confidence. Secondly, common information. And thirdly, time pressures. Firstly, let's start with how do you make decisions? Your decisions are based on your memories of past experiences, considering the alternatives and the views of those around you. But how strongly do the views of others influence your decisions? Ash conducted a well-known psychology study in 1951, where individuals are shown a line and asked to match the length of the line to that of three possible other line options. One of the lines is actually identical, and a group of seven actors and one participant form a group to answer which line is the correct one. The actual participant always answers last out of the group. When the seven other group members answer with the correct answer, the participant agrees. However, when they choose the incorrect line, the participant faces a choice between sticking to their independent and correct decision or yielding to the pressures of group conformity. At least 70% of participants went along with the incorrect group decision at least once in direct disregard of their own eyes. People typically emulate the behaviour they perceive others doing. Sunstein in 2000 found that people are equally likely to litter or non-litter based on the behaviour of others around them. Likewise, other examples of contagious behaviour is telling individuals that there is a high level of voluntary tax compliance, which then leads to individuals also complying and completing their taxes. This social influence is formed by two factors informational externality and reputational externality. Informational externality is when we perceive someone to be similar to us. For example, they belong to the same group as us. We view their behavior as sensible to do. Even if you perceive another's behavior to be fake or false, the actions then create an incentive to do what others are thinking is appropriate in order to maintain or develop a positive reputation. What other influences are affecting group decision-making? We will now examine three research studies exploring specific factors. These studies all utilize hidden profiles, which are studies that provide a group with shared information that all view and also unshared information where each group member has information that the rest of the group does not. How do emotions within a group influence their tendency to ignore unique expertise of other group members? Using a hidden profile task, Emich provided evidence that groups with at least one member experiencing positive affect shared more unique information than groups composed entirely of members experiencing neutral effect. This occurred because group members experiencing positive emotion were more likely to initiate unique information sharing, as well as information seeking. Study 2 built upon this base by showing that confidence mediates the relationship between positive effect and the initiation of unique information sharing. Additionally, Study 2 investigated the role of negative effect in group decision making and how negative and positive effect concurrently influence decision making when groups are composed of members experiencing each. The results are discussed in terms of the role effect plays in influencing group behaviour and the resultant importance of investigating specific effective patterns. Group decision making provides a mechanism for channeling individual members' knowledge into productive organisational outcomes. However, in hidden profile experiments in which group members have common information favouring an inferior choice with private information favouring a superior choice, Lytle, Cagle and Arcs found groups typically choose an inferior alternative. Group failures primarily result from mistakes in recalling information. Mistakes in recalling common information are typically corrected, whereas mistakes in recalling the private information needed to uncover the hidden profile cannot be corrected as the group are not aware of this information. Therefore, the dismal performance of groups in pooling the information needed to identify the superior option primarily result from the structure of the problem rather than deficiencies in how groups share and process information. The discussions necessary to resolve mistakes in recalling common information also help to explain the often noted fact that groups spend a disproportionate amount of time discussing common information. 
Bauman and Wittenbaum conducted an experiment where members of three-person groups read information about two hypothetical cholesterol-reducing drugs and collectively chose the better drug under high or low time pressure. Information was distributed to members as a hidden profile such that the information that supported the better drug was unshared before discussion. Correct solution of the hidden profile required members to pool their unshared knowledge. Some groups discussed the drug information from memory, which was the memory condition. Others kept the drug information during discussion, accessing sheets that either indicated which pieces of information were shared or unshared. This was the informed access condition. Or they did not, which was the access condition. Low time pressure groups chose the better drug more often than high time pressure groups, particularly when groups had access to information. Groups in the informed access condition chose the correct drug more often than groups in the memory and access conditions. Memory groups showed the typical discussion bias favouring shared over unshared information, whereas groups with access to information during discussion reversed this bias. This effect was stronger under low than high time pressures. So what do these three studies show us? Past research shows that during group decision making, the construct of a hidden profile often leads to the group collectively making uninformed decisions based solely on the information that is shared within the group. Emich and Kyle in 2014 demonstrated that individual differences play a key role as to whether the hidden profile data is actually shared. Some individuals are naturally more confident than others and are therefore more likely to contribute unshared data with the group, leading to the hidden profile being identified and the correct informed decision being made. Similarly, Emmett and Kyle in 2014 also found that positive effect can lead to group members subconsciously sharing their emotions and mimicking one another to create group harmony. This harmony would lead to greater cooperation and confidence within the group, once again increasing the likelihood of the hidden profile data being revealed. In this sense, Emmett and Kyle argue that those experiencing neutral effect will lack harmony within the group, decrease confidence to share exclusive data or question other group members. It has also been noted that during group decision-making processes, the information that all members of the group are given is likely to be talked about more. This concept is furthered by Lytle, Cagle and Arcs in 2009, who found that when the information provided is taken away from the participants after they have read it, shared information will be reaffirmed and expanded by others in the group. This links to Emmett and Kyle's theory of positive effect as the shared information is agreed with by the group. Likewise, those with hidden profile data may withhold their information when other group members do not agree with their thoughts. Or, in the case of Lytle, Cagle and Arcs 2009 experiment, the group may believe the data is simply being recalled incorrectly by the participant. This may lead to further consequences of disbelieving all of the participants' views on the basis that the individual might have a faulty or not accurate memory in the eyes of other group members. Similar results are found within the experiment by Bowman, Jonathan, Wittenbun and DeWen in 2012, where during memory tasks the groups will favour and value information that is common due to the higher likelihood that it is recalled correctly, as opposed to data that only one member of the group can remember. Bauman, Jonathan, Wittenbaum and Gwen in 2012 also repeated the investigation under time constraints and found that the stress of limited time leads the group to overlook data from the hidden profile, encouraging participants to choose the correct drug and chose the incorrect drug for the experiment. This was theorised to be due to the time constraints placing pressure for a unanimous decision to be made, linking back to the initial theory of Emmett and Kyle in 2014. Positive effect will be gained from agreeing with the common data that is shared. Similarly, the constricted time will lessen some participants' confidence in themselves due to only important information needing to be conveyed quickly. Unshared data will quickly be outruled by the group as invalid. The hidden profile provides insight into both the group and individual's response to unshared data and provides information for real life applications, such as job hiring processes. We have explored how do you make decisions, the influence groups have on decision making, the contagious nature of behaviour when others identify as belonging to the same group as you, and lastly considered some specific factors affecting group decision making. Firstly, positive emotions and confidence. Secondly, common information. And thirdly, time pressures. I hope you all enjoyed.